we're just educating people just to be safe and stop the spread of the Zika in this area. Knocking door to door through the neighborhoods of Kashmir Gardens in the Fifth Ward, employees from the city of Houston's health department spoke to residents about the Zika virus. We're just educating people about the Zika virus. Porfirio Villarreal, public information officer for the Houston Health Department, said the goal is to educate people on how to protect themselves from the Zika virus. And we do have some packets here with insect repellent and some information regarding okay. this. The reason we're doing this is because there has been a high level of mosquito activity detected uh, in portions of these neighborhoods. And so we're going to educate the public on how to protect themselves and also um, how to use the 3D Zika defense. That's our um, way of making sure that people um, know that they need to use DEET. Uh, and use that insect repellent any, on exposed skin any time they're outside uh, to protect themselves against mosquito bites. Villarreal added it's important to get rid of standing water, which becomes breeding grounds for mosquitoes. We want to make sure that uh, people know that they've got to uh, look at their gutters, look at their pet bowls, look at their bird baths, and any type of uh, trash that, that will hold water. That way we stop that breeding. And neighborhoods that really uh, get rid of the standing water can really have a great impact. Mosquitoes don't travel large um, radius, um, so if neighborhood gets together, they can really have an impact and diminish those uh, mosquitoes in, in their neighborhood. He also spoke about the West Nile virus, which affected Houston in the past. They both require the same kind of protection. One of the reasons we're doing this is we want to make sure we protect um, pregnant women and their unborn babies. Um, we don't want to see um, a baby born uh, with severe birth defects. Um, that is very troublesome for the family, can be devastating in terms of um, cost and also the suffering that the baby uh, will incur through its life. And we want to avoid that. Um, if people protect themselves um, and against mosquito bites, not only do they protect their family, but also their neighbor down the street, maybe their co-workers. Uh, it, it's the best thing you can do is protect yourself, use the 3D Zika defense, um, use insect repellent, drain that standing water, and if you, if you can, if the weather permits, um, use that that uh, uh, long sleeves and, and long pants to avoid mosquito bites. Incident command to A1 team. 80 city employees were dispatched to the area because an unusually large number of mosquitoes have been detected there. Usually what they do is they have collecting rainwater and in there you will have you know a, a perfect breeding ground for the virus uh, for the mosquitoes. These right here don't look like they have any water in them at all. So let's, yeah. They've studied maps and charts to be sure they help everyone in the target zone. Their goal is to reach 1,600 homes. It's the perfect time to get out and let the community know about this issue so that they can better prepare themselves and help stop the spread of the Zika. So far, no one has contracted the Zika virus locally. The city of Houston is working hard to keep it that way.